Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again. I've been working a little bit here and there on the electric beach cruiser build. As you can see, I have the bike rack here. I put a couple of struts on each side. That way it makes it really solid. It bolts up to the seat there. I put a pin through this, so you can't adjust the seat height anymore, but I have it set for my height, so not really a problem. I have a chain run from the motor that I mounted, which we'll take a look at in the crate in there in a second. And the chain goes down here, and then I have a little bearing here that holds the uh, chain in tension. That way it's not slopping all over the place. And if you look up into the uh, container here, uh, this uh, plastic bin uh, will need to be worked out. It sat out in the sun. It's really hot here in Reno right now. It sat out in the sun and the bike was leaning up against it so it kind of warped the plastic. But I have the motor here. The motor's bolted down nice and firm. I have a positive and negative lead and big battery cutoff right here so I can shut it off when I'm not running it. That way if somebody walks up and starts fiddling with the controller or something, my bike doesn't take off. Man, it's hot out today. Anyway, some things I still need to do for uh, testing it out. Uh, I put the batteries, those uh, batteries I have back here, and it just puts way too much weight on the back of the bike to the point where you barely pick up the front and it'll wheelie. So I'm going to get some longer power cables, I'm going to run them down the bike here and put them on a basket up front here. And if I run it with the basket on the front, put the batteries there, it should offset the weight in the back of the bicycle. I still need to do something about the chain drive. I'll have to put a, uh, a double sprocket or something down here. Or I might just grab the other motor I have since it, the motor shaft sticks out the other direction and put it on the other side and uh, have another sprocket, you know, like one on each side, one for the pedal drive, one for the other drive, or for the electric drive. But I did a little test with those batteries in the back. Uh, it's not that fast because I have such a small sprocket on the motor right now, but it's got enough torque to go up any hill you want it to go up. And I'm not looking for top speed out of this, I'm looking more for uh, being able to ride it anywhere, go up all the big hills and stuff like that in a uh, rugged drivetrain that won't break when I'm putting a lot of torque in it. Uh, the way this drivetrain is set up right now, I'm not too sure how much torque it's going to handle, but when it breaks you'll definitely get a video of that. But that's all I have for right now. Uh, I still need to address the issue of the chain drive to make it... Uh, make it work with pedals and make it work with the motor at the same time and I need to address brakes so I'm probably just gonna get some of those caliper brakes that most bikes have and hook them up down here and uh, that should give me some braking power I'll put some brakes on the front but I need something to stop this because uh, you don't want to try to stop this with just your feet dragging on the ground you're gonna hurt yourself But that's what I have for right now and until next time build stuff and have fun